because it doesn't make sense for YouTube, in my opinion, to promote, for instance, a video that I would make because they can't make any money on it. I feel like because of this, the algorithm is always going to be putting those channels that can be monetized up. So basically, me and I mean all small YouTubers content are just going to be like buried. Small content creators are actually the life of YouTube. I'm not going to drop her name, but she's blonde, she's Canadian, she's one of the first J vlogger. YouTube is kind of acting like that bitch or that fuckboy that think they're too good for you what's happening is that it's almost like it's going to be for only that elite and it kind of is like also crushing the whole youtube sphere as this video is not going to be monetized anyway it might be full of sexual inappropriate behavior as well as swearing because if it's not gonna fulfill any financial purpose, it might as well fulfill an entertaining one and a cathartic one, right? I've just been fucking fired. <laughs> Today's video is going to be way different from what I usually do because basically I've just got fucking fired. <laughs> so about 24 hours ago, I think now, when I was like checking my social media because I've just spent six hours editing a video about learning Japanese and I just wanted to see like how people were responding to it I was just like on my phone in the middle of the night and I just got that notification that I just received an email first I thought it was just like the regular YouTube creators like updates who are quite irrelevant to me to be honest I just don't really like focus on this shit and I opened it and was like okay he's gonna change and I just I mean, let me get you the email if you haven't like received it. What's changing? Under the new eligibility requirement announced today, your YouTube channel Zenig Wilson, Zenig Hukun, is no longer eligible for monetization because it does not meet the new threshold of 40,000 hours of watch time without, within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube partner program on you know, blah, 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 blah. Basically, unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days, accordingly, this email served as a 30 day notice that your YouTube partner program terms are terminated. I was like, what? <laughs> like, wait. I'm, bitch, I'm not even working for you and you're like firing me, like what the hell? Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. You didn't fire me, bitch. I leave. I fired myself. I quit it, okay? And uh, the thing is that I already decided I would like try less hard with all the YouTube stuff and be slacking up a little bit more because it's not worth like putting all that effort in and I don't really believe in efforting anyway I don't think that the reward that you get in life are up to the amount of effort you put in otherwise people working in like fields would be like richer than Britney Spears or whatever but it actually feels a little bit like I don't know you're playing some kind of game with people and they're like winning with following a certain amount of rules and all of a sudden while you're in the middle of the game and you feel like you have almost like the right set of cards to actually win they're like oh no stop all on we're changing the rule right now i think that before the beautiful thing about youtube was that it pretty much was like a kind of american dream in the sense that there's this idea that you could be like whoever, you could have any kind of accent, you could look like whatever way, but you could somehow find some kind of success and find a community and gain momentum. But now with it, what's happening is that it's almost like it's going to be for only that elite and it kind of is like also crushing the whole YouTube spirit in my opinion. The problem also with YouTube is that they have no competition whatsoever so basically they feel like entitled and all powerful they basically feel like Thanks Beyonce Besides to change they have to know that they 
uh, replaceable and that there might be some platform emerging that would like put them to filth. If someone has an idea, hit me up. I kind of feel that also what YouTube is missing right here is that a lot of small content creators are actually the life of YouTube because a lot of small YouTubers first started the channel because they're like following bigger YouTubers and they got inspired to start their own channels. And they are, I mean, we are the ones actually posting comments and reacting and sharing video because we actually have a YouTube account unlike a lot of other people so they don't want to mess with us it takes me like six sometimes seven sometimes eight hours like just sitting right in front of the computer to edit one single video that's going to be like 14 minutes or 15 minutes or something like this so it's really time consuming and although it's a passion of mine and when I jump in I didn't jump in thinking oh I'm gonna make so much money I jump in YouTube really like with the desire of like sharing and the designer of, the desire of kind of building a community That was really like my intention and just being like entertaining and entertaining people and also having fun myself but editing because I love editing and by just like making up those kind of storyline and making up like Those idea and making video about it all the creative process of it but still when you jump into YouTube, you still are investing a lot of things. You're investing a lot of your time, only not only your time, and you're investing also some coins. Because this camera right here, I didn't got it for free. <laughs> it wasn't like the most expensive one, but still invested a couple of coins. And personally, my idea was that if my channel would start like generating a little bit of money, not crazy money like i was never even thinking or envisaging to be a full-time youtuber but i was thinking like oh if my channel would make like two four five hundred dollars per month i would probably at first like reimburse my camera i would be able to like buy more light i would buy like i don't know backgrounds i would buy like props when i'm doing my video and i want to do things a little bit more funny and entertaining I could I don't know just really like have more leeway in my creativity and be able to have high quality content in that sense but now that I'm seeing that I'm never gonna be making a dime I feel like YouTube hasn't really helped me like grow my channel in itself so having this Hide up on it, it's kind of making me feel like, oh, like basically, it's like YouTube is an one ungrateful bitch, <laughs> one day ungrateful bastard. Because I'm putting all this time, effort, and passion in it, and it's not getting rewarded. And at the same time, the thing that it also turned me off with that update is that I feel like even more so now that YouTube is going to be only monetizing certain content creators, the one at the other hand. I mean, a thousand subscribers is not like being a crazy, amazing YouTuber, but it's still like eliminating a lot of people below. So I feel like because of this, the algorithm is always going to be putting those channels that can be monetized up. So basically, me and I mean all small YouTubers content are just going to be like buried under all the other videos because it doesn't make sense for YouTube in my opinion to promote for instance a video that I would make because they can't make any money on it so why would they promote my content they're just gonna leave it like at the bottom of the pie and the view that I'm gonna get are only gonna be like the exterior view that I'm generating by my own effort and with my own sweat so it feels kind of like frustrating in this way and that's what actually made me question should I like keep doing this or should I just stop it there because I would still feel excited even if I don't get money and well if I can get monetized but I would still would like to see some growth in my channel because YouTube is like a passion of mine but it's just like one among all of the things I'm passionate about 
and in everything that I do, I'm not gonna lie, I just like seeing growth. And if I feel like the platform is no longer even gonna enable me to do this, it's kind of make me feel like, why bother then? <laughs> If it's not gonna be put it out there by YouTube so its audience could find my content, then this kind of is like no point of like going on. And I saw like a lot of like older generation YouTuber who are already like quite big, like with like two hundred thousand subscribers, five hundred thousand like those kind of YouTubers saying like, yeah, I don't understand the first, I don't know. Especially I mean, I started having like a conversation with like one of them. I'm not gonna drop her name, but she's blonde, she's Canadian, she's one of the first J vlogger, and she has a Japanese boyfriend whose name begins by T. <laughs> okay, I've just thrown her under the bus. She was like, yeah, I don't understand because when I started my channel back then, I think five years ago, it took me, I don't know, four or five times before I was accepted as a YouTube partner and I was rejected like so many times when I applied and uh, nowadays everybody's just doing YouTube for the coins and everything and with basically no ethic, basically spitting on all of us young YouTubers but listen girl <laughs> listen little girl <laughs> I'm kidding but the thing is like she and she can't possibly understand it because she's not there anymore and she probably cannot understand that she cannot understand if that makes any sense but the game has changed honey like the way YouTube was before I really like I agree that I like that spirit of people just putting out content there to like share the tips and the tricks with people and really not expecting anything in return but at the same time, content creators back then were not as invested as we are nowadays now that most people and a lot of people like see YouTube as a career path because a lot of YouTubers that I follow nowadays, their content, including myself of course <laughs> their content is bomb.com and is as much and is as good quality wise as the content of bigger channel so that's why we as younger YouTubers cannot understand why we shouldn't be considered as partners because the content that we are putting out there in the pool is as good as the content of bigger creator we just don't have as much momentum and also we i mean i'm not talking for everybody but a lot of us are way more like invested than other content creator back in the days a lot of people at least for what i could see would post a video once a month or post a video then don't do anything for like two or three weeks and then post another one and another one. Nowadays a lot of people vlog every day or they vlog two three times a week or they film like the whole week every day and they post the vlog at the end of the week. So we are doing way more work that you guys were doing back in the day so even if it would take you guys like five years or four years before you could be able to be monetized, work-wise we pretty much are doing the same in less years than you guys are doing so that is why i'm not saying that this is why we should get monetized or we should get money or we should get fame but we are entitled to feel that we deserve it as much as you do so i can see some positive in it because as i said before i already decided i would like be producing less content because i don't want to spend too much time only nurturing my passion for youtube i want to do like other stuff and other stuff that I can feel like I'm having growth in not only like excitement because I'm passionate about it but also I can see growth from it so I think I just would keep the rhythm that I already plan out to be doing which is going to be pretty much about one video every week and I will be doing more crazy stuff I think I would feel like freer in a way because since none of my video I'm gonna put, be put it up for monetization I can then snake you, I can swear, I can, I don't know <laughs> I can basically do every kind of crazy shit I want because it's not gonna get monetized anyway so I'm only doing it for like entertaining myself, entertaining people and it's all good so thank you guys for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up if you did because thumbs up I think are going to be like the only thing that's going to be helping my channel nowadays.
because I'm not going to get mad views. And don't forget to subscribe if you like and keep yourself happy. Jana.